Welcome back to Crowns Crypto Cave and welcome to this next entry within this options tutorial series. Today we will be focusing on Vega. Vega is at its core in its most natural essence quite simply this. The change of the price of that option with regards to a 1% increase or decrease of the volatility of the spot underlying. So how does this work out in practicality? Because all of that is something that you could have just read on Wikipedia. But how does this actually work? Well, if we are buying options, we will we will be long Vega. If we are selling options, we will be short Vega. And if we go into the example of buying options and we are long Vega, we are essentially looking for explosive price action. We're looking for likely a breakout, likely something that is erratic, violent. Think that sort of thoughts when, when talking about volatility. Of course, by the other by the other side of the token, no pun intended. In these examples, when we are short when we are short uh, Vega, we are looking for a period of low volatility. That is, think of that as contraction, likely a period of consolidation where the price action dies down and it becomes less violent. So the general rule is, when it comes to trading Vega, you want to be a seller of Vega when it's high and a buyer of Vega when it's low. Now, of course, just like with all of the different Greeks. Certain strategies will focus on one, you know, certain subsets of Greeks, other, you know, more so than the other. For some people, they will never look at Vega. For other people, they only look at Vega. So again, don't let this overwhelm you. Understand that this is just here to simplify your life, telling you what the price of your options are likely to do, the actual price of your options are going are likely to do with regards to the volatility increasing or decreasing of the spot underlying. That's going to do it for Vega. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.